loves. Today we're going to talk about the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection with Morphe. I know that it's been a minute since like this came out. There's been a lot of controversy. There's been a lot of positive and negative comments about this collection. I wanted to give myself a minute, try every single palette, and really form my thoughts on them. I did opt to get the entire vault, even though I wasn't 100% interested in every single palette, just so I could review this for you guys. And just because, first of all, I love Jaclyn Hill. I'll get that out of like you guys know um she's one of the reasons I even started a YouTube channel she's one of the she's literally the first YouTuber that I ever watched so I will always support her but I'm always going to be 100% honest with you guys so I don't want you to think that that is going to get in the way the chances of her ever seeing this video I know is like girl's busy girl's busy girl doesn't care what I have to say about her collection she got stuff going on so I'm gonna keep it obviously 100% real with you guys as always just know that as always on this collection. I am not affiliated in Morphe in any, like, in any way, so that too. I don't have a discount code. She's got one. Jack Attack. We all know it. Um, I did use her discount code when I purchased this. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna get in and go through each palette. I'm gonna tell you what I think of them, which shades are my favorite, which palettes. If you're only gonna pick up one or two, I will tell you which ones I personally recommend and like the most. Before we get into this video, please subscribe if you have not already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday here on my channel. Let's get into it. Okay, first of all, I want to say I am wearing one of them. I'm wearing the Dark Magic palette on my eye with some ColourPop Jelly Much shadows on my lid. So that video will definitely be up. I'll try and insert some footage of me blending and stuff like that with the Dark Magic palette so you can get a idea. All right, so obviously this is the vault. It was $49. I picked mine up from Morphe and I used the 10% off. But of course you have to pay for shipping. These are available on Ulta. You can buy them either all together for $49 or $15 each. Considering I really wanted three of them, I was like, you know, and now I actually really like the one that I didn't think that I'd want. Okay, so the one that I was most excited about is the Armed and Gorgeous palette. We're gonna start with this one just because I was most excited and still am. This is the first one I opted to use. This is the this is the yellow toned palette. This is the first one I think that she did. Maybe it was the second one. I think the second one she did a tutorial on and I was just drawn in. I love a yellow eye. Up until this palette, I haven't really had a yellow shadow that really showed up the way I wanted it to. Um, I did a look the other day. I didn't film it or anything, but if you guys want it, I definitely will. I was actually going to do that look today. Um, I needed to use the Dark Magic palette so I could try all of them and talk about all of them and give you my honest opinion on every single palette. I just wanted it to be a more thorough review. All right, so I had used, I haven't used every shade in every palette, but I'm just going to give you my gist. So this one I really like. I've used almost every shade in this palette. This is probably my favorite one just because I am clearly ready for fall. I'm ready for it. Bring it on. Let's go. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to swatch this guy. I'm going to insert the swatches of each palette just to make this video a little bit quicker. I will swatch a few and talk about them. So my favorite ones in this palette are the oranges and the yellows. My favorite shade is Access, which is the bright yellow in the palette. I really do like the mattes and the shimmers. I had no trouble with this palette at all. This is probably my favorite in both performance and color. I think when it comes to the Morphe palettes, you just have to know what you're getting. I... My expectations were just on par with the last Jaclyn Hill palette. I know some people were upset because they expected the quality to be so good. Um, I saw one comment where a girl was like angry at Jaclyn Hill saying that she <laughs> that she lied to her and that Ulta lied to her and she really just thought that they were going to be better shadows. But you have to keep in mind that Jaclyn created these palettes. These are Jaclyn's ideal palettes. Maybe she doesn't think they're as amazing as they are, but if she really did have a hand in formulating them, this is her ideal shadow. I love Anastasia shadows. I love ColourPop shadows. I really like a lot of, especially the newer Makeup Revolution shadows. I know a lot of people don't like any of those. There are people that like live for Morphe and some of Morphe shadows aren't my favorite, but I have really enjoyed all of the ones that Jaclyn has put out. Also the price point, $15 for this palette or $49 for the whole thing is not bad at all. I would definitely pay $15 for this palette on its own. I think this one is 100% worth it. I don't think that $15 personally is a lot for a palette. Too Faced or Tarte or Urban Decay, all of those palettes are around like 40, 50 bucks. And this one for 15, and this one is like screams my name. This screams my name right now. I love warm shades. I'm again, I'm all about fall, so I am excited. 
this palette I really, really enjoy and really think this one is good. Again, I haven't used every single shade in the palette, but I have used this palette more than once on my eyes, and I'm truly a fan. If you're looking for a good yellow shadow, it is kind of orangey based. It's not as bright yellow as I wanted it to be, but I think that I'm going to use some of these ColourPop jelly shadows with it when I do the look to make it pop a little more, but I was definitely pleased with it. I was definitely happy. So I do really, I do recommend the Armed and Gorgeous palette. Next, we'll talk about Dark Magic. Again, this is the one that I have on my eyes. This was the one, this palette did not scream my name, but when I asked you guys which one you wanted a tutorial on first, you guys were most excited about this one. This is a very cool toned palette. There is that kind of khaki green in the palette, which I have on my eyes today. I'm wearing Potion, Inside Job, Temptress, and Shh, and then Poof. Poof is too deep for my skin. I was really excited, of course. You guys know I love a matte brow bone highlight. That shade kind of works as a transition shade for me because it is a little deeper than my skin. I am abnormally fair though, so keep that in mind. If you are not as fair as I am, probably will really love that as a matte brow bone highlight. How have I not swatched Power Cut yet? Girl, I do live for a cool toned icy taupe though. Some of these do feel like they're really, like this one feels like it's really packed in there. Some of you guys mentioned that you had trouble with the shimmers. I have kind of experienced that as well, but I also feel like I am abnormal in the amount of shimmer that I want. I almost always foil a shadow, and I know that Jacqueline does as well, so she may have kind of formulated them with that in mind. If you're more of a neutral girl, more of an everyday makeup girl, don't like anything really flashy, then you're probably really going to like the shimmers. Um, but I mean, I think that's that's beautiful. I did have to just put two coats on my hand, but that one's really pretty. I haven't swatched this green one yet either, so I will give you my feedback on that one. That one looks really pretty as well. Um, and again, I feel like some of them don't swatch as good. I had a friend that went and checked out the palettes in person before I got it, and she said that she was kind of disappointed in the swatches, but I do feel like most of these, for the most part, the mattes blend really beautifully. I, I mean, I had to really build up that green, and it doesn't really translate to the eye this exact green. I'm wondering if I use like a bright white base if I'll be able to really get that color to show up on the eye because that's what I really wanted but then I ended up going a little deeper with it so it's not quite as khaki green as I wanted because I live for like I love for shades like that ones that are a little bit different <laughs> when you have as much makeup as I do something a little bit different is good and I thought that this was a little bit different this is not something I don't own a lot of things like this personally so I am glad that I went with the whole vault and not just the palettes that I really wanted because I would have skipped out on this one but I really enjoyed it and hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial as well. Um, the next one we're going to talk about is the Bling Boss palette. Sadly this is the only one that I really had an issue with. I did like the end look though. So this is the purpley palette, the purple based palette. These shades are gorgeous. I'm going to do that whole purple palette video very, very, very soon. I'm trying to make sure I use all of them before I speak on them, though. I have quite a few. There's probably going to be five or six palettes in that video to talk about the purple trend that's going on right now. So this palette is beautiful. I haven't used every shade in this palette, but this was my least favorite. I had trouble with it blending. I did see some of the muddiness. And normally, like, I'm really understanding when it comes to eyeshadows. I truly am because I do try a lot of affordable makeup. Um, but not to say that all affordable makeup isn't as good, but like I've tried some crappy shadows. Um, but if you can work with it and for the price point, like this palette for $15 is beautiful. And I think that it is worth $15. And I did really like the look and I wore that look out. I think I went to Sally's and Sally's and Target and I had more than one person say that they really liked my look that day. So I mean, it, it did take a little longer, but I did like the look. So I think it just depends on if you're willing to put in the in the work for palette, this is a really beautiful palette. The berries and the purples and the shimmers were nice. I did foil, I used bling bling on my lid. It's really pretty, but you do have to really pack it on and I did foil it. So I did use it wet, but look how pretty that is. I feel like you could use that as a highlight as well. Sorry, I still have a little bit of a ColourPop Jelly Mutt shadow on my hand. But yeah, if you're thinking about it and you're willing to work a little extra, on your look. Just make sure you have some really nice blending brushes. So I'd say leave it up to you. And I have not tried every shade in the palette, but I tried a lot of them. I used Sparks, Rockstar, Glitz and Glam, Bling Bling, Pizzazz. Um, I haven't tried Gem. Ooh. Okay, that's really pretty. Look at that purple. Okay, so maybe I just used the wrong shades. I don't know. But 
I'm just saying with this palette, I understand where people are coming from. I did have issues. Okay, the last one we're gonna talk about is the Ring the Alarm palette. This was the other one that I was really excited about. I'm really enjoying this palette. Ooh, oh, I just, oh, it makes me happy. Um, I have so many warm shadows that I probably didn't need this palette, but of course I wanted it because I was like, more warm shadows that Jaclyn Hill thinks I need? Okay, I need them. Um, this is what the palette looks like, but it is really beautiful. I love this burnt orange. It looks so beautiful on the lid. This gold is so pretty. It's just such a fall warm gold. So I really like Alert. I like Rush. I like Mugshot. Um, I've just had a lot of luck with this palette. I've used the Arm to Gorgeous palette the most and then this one the second most. I really like this one. If you're looking for a warm palette, I definitely think this one is great. Again, it's probably my second favorite. I don't know. It's beautiful. It's a nice warm palette. This one I haven't had any issues with personally. So far, only the Bling Boss has given me issues. So again, I do see where people are coming from, but each palette comes with 10 shadows and a mirror. I do appreciate the mirror in the palette. I feel like that makes it worth more money to me personally. They are lightweight, which is nice, especially for someone like me who has arthritis. So if any of you lovelies out there that also have arthritis, I feel like they're really lightweight. They're easy to hold. I like that the mirror will bend all the way back. I just, I love being able to like get as close as I can. I forgot to mention that too, the Dark Magic palette did have a little bit of fallout. I ended up with a little bit of specks on like down on my face. That's the only palette that I have experienced fallout with, but it is like the darkest palette and I worked with the darkest shades in that palette. So that could be part of it as well. So when you're buying them separately, you're paying $1.50 a shadow. They are really nicely sized. I feel like maybe they're the same size. Sorry, I grabbed a MAC shadow to kind of compare. I feel like they look bigger, but I guess they're the same size as a MAC shadow. So you get a little bit more in one of these shadows than you do in a MAC shadow, barely, but like 0 0.01 more, um, just so you guys know. If you buy the vault, you're only paying $1.23 per shadow. So that is a good deal. I think it's worth it when you break it down like that. Like they are decent shadows. They aren't the best shadows I've ever tried, um, but I'm really enjoying them. And again, the Armed and Gorgeous palette, I really like. I really liked and the dark magic palette was definitely a surprise this look is so not my norm but I'm feeling it it's fun it's different it's very fall so I do feel by buying the entire vault I'm getting some shades that I normally wouldn't have and again I would never have thought I'd like the dark magic palette but I do there are probably hit and misses in every single palette I think that maybe in the other ones I just got lucky with the shades that I chose and like I know this is kind of a wishy-washy do what you want to do review but I'm content with my purchase. I'm using these palettes. I like them. I'm a fan. And like, I like Jacqueline. I always will. I'll always support her because she's inspired me in so many ways. I think that's everything. Let me know if you guys have picked these up, what you think down below. I know a lot of you, when I posted on Instagram, a lot of you really loved them. A few of you were like, no. And then if you look at the comment sections on Morphe, so many people are not happy. All right, loves. I think that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it if you could because it does help me out so, so much. And please subscribe if you have not already. All right, loves. I will talk to you soon. Hi. Maybe she doesn't, I mean, maybe she doesn't really think that they're as amazing. At, whoa. Um, but that one actually kind of works with transitions. Whoa. I'm all stained now. I'm definitely curious about the color a bit, a bit, eh. I have fallout that looks like a mustache. Getting some, some shades, what? <laughs>